Hey everyone, so I wanted to show you the nightmare of uh, doing your own uh, CAD design and upgrades and changes and iterations and I just wanted to show you this real quick. So this was something that I uh, was shared on my Facebook group. So I printed it out and this is for my Inacubic Cobra. Uh, it's basically to help the part cooling be more efficient. Uh, the other part cooling is this tiny little fan that uh, if you know anything about Creality, you can see how, how tiny that is. So this is upgraded to a 15 or 50 and 15 or 50, 15 fan, which blows a lot more air. So the first iteration, this was what was off of the Thingiverse, shared with the group. Uh, I redesigned it a little more, put some more vents, spread it out so that it had more even airflow. Um, then I went a step further and I did this variant and I put the, the ducts on here. But the problem with these is the ducts that are here are blowing right on the hot end and that cools off the hot end too fast and you have failed print. Have another version right here, uh, same thing. I redid the ducting in size, so it was a little more efficient, uh, still way too cold. So then I made another, wor another version of it, but I made the walls too thin and I distributed it and now it blows down the bottom. You can see right there. Um, but the problem with this one is it sagged because I didn't put enough structural infill. These are not thick enough walls. So then again, I, uh, I redesigned it last night and I came up with this. So here's the fan. That's a 5015 fan. Plugs into the Anycubic. There's nothing cut. There's nothing changed. It's all part of it. And now my ducts are like this. So I went from this to this. So basically the same design. We just don't have as much structure hanging out over and um, maybe not necessarily the most even part cooling, but I'm gonna install this right now and see how it looks.